Yeah, so I started out the day with the plan of testing the 32 fins um, in this high wind, high wind environment. But actually I also had a new rig, uh, the 5.2 power ride, no cam, free race thing, race thing, I don't know, it has I think six or seven buttons for 5.2 and and actually um, I think because it was so wild that the fin comparison doesn't really make any sense they both worked so you will hear some comments later in the video where I was thinking I was doing a fin comparison video but it actually ended by up by being finding the trim actually the, the trim worked right out of the back with the new 5.2 and just adjusting the boom height was the only adjustment and, and the harness lines position that I made. So this video is actually more about finding a decent defi setup, which I think uh, uh, I managed. So I hope you'll enjoy also, there's some thoughts about the fins, but, but yeah. So can I, how is free riding? No cam, free race, whatever high wind and actually I would say the, the rig it just worked and yeah the, the chop was very difficult but the rig it was just neutral and easy and rotation was easy and also I fell in once and water starting so easy so yeah I would like to test one in 6.6 or 7.0 without camps actually it was I've only been doing slalom and way riding and speed so I have never really tried a free ride free race sail without camps except for wave gear for the last 20 years I think so it was kind of a big revelation that the sail was performing so well it could be because it's a membrane sail cow and buttons it of course helps so it's really really stable but uh, I wasn't lacking any control at all and um, yeah just hope you enjoy the video I must say I'm thinking about trying to get a, a bigger one of these sails just to test it out and see how it performs against my camber sails I don't have a camber sail in 5.2 I only have 5.6 so yeah yeah we'll see but um, I'm pretty impressed with going no camp today so yeah enjoy the video Yips. The uh, first run, first three runs uh, on the Suntag 32 in really, really overpowered 5.2. It's not a, it's a no cam race tail. Uh, it actually performs very well, but the wind is just, it's just so ridiculously high wind. It's totally deafy. And as you might be able to see out here, it's just wind, 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 wind and it's just really really powerful so it's hard to say oh should we sorry oops wrong way so it's really hard to say anything about the, um, the mentalities of the fin the fins uh, it performs well I had one spin out and obviously it was because I was putting uh, the wrong pressure on the fin so now I'll try to switch to this chopper and then I'll test a little bit more but uh, yeah it's so overpowered and I'm out alone and it's still only about uh, 10 degrees so it's a bit risky but um, I'll just test uh, the other ones against the chopper against the sun tag see if I can tell any difference and uh, I'll let you know yep so done for the day I think I got 15 kilometers in uh, yeah really 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 chubby and challenging conditions it's uh, what you should you say it's deafy but with chub and also the wind is deafy like so it's a bit more survival mode and yeah with a new rig and uh, yeah but it's actually working really well I think I found my deafy trim I couldn't tell any difference uh, between the fins there was just survival trying to keep the board down but I have now I have uh, like the 
it was actually my file boom I was using. You can see we're coming back to the gear here. So, and the file boom has harness lines from 34 to 40, and they are almost at at max. And uh, as you can see, boom is pretty low. Downhole seems sufficient. Harness lines are like monstrous. But I'm also on the Liberty harness, so um, yeah, the Liberty harness sits a bit lower, so you have to have a little bit lower boom, and uh, yeah, some long harness lines, I think. But also, I only had a, a 70 boom as the shortest, as you can see, it's a bit different to say because usually you have the two holes down here, and yeah, this one is above, but but actually, you can see. So above the boom is pretty loose, and I had no troubles handling uh, handling uh, the board or the sailor. The board I had plenty of problems, but that was because of the water state. But the sailor actually felt super easy and yeah, super nice. And I had some help from some friends to take a few action shots. So yeah, conclusions are in this kind of wind, both fins perform as you would like them to not too many spin out easy to recover from them also yeah it's just it's more about finding a, a survival trim and yeah speeds are around up to 30 knots peaks um, and that at that water state and also the current today is going against the the wind so the chop doubles up and also when you go downwind you are sailing against the current a little bit so speeds with with the current in the different direction same direction as the wind water would have been flatter speed would have been higher but yeah it was a great test now I'm looking forward to going to the Netherlands in six days to collect new boats and um, yeah um, test some different uh, new things. I have um, an appointment with a company called Triple Innovations to test their new uh, downhaul thing and I'm very excited about that and also yeah I'll be testing new boards so um, I pray for some wind in the Netherlands in a in a week and then I'll be staying for a week testing the different spots down there and hopefully it's a bit warmer than up here in Scandinavia. See you in the next one. Bye!